Sustainable floodplain farming, finding the balance. Sustainable floodplain farming links agricultural productivity and wetland health. This helps to improve soil, water and ecosystem health. Threats to soil health. Compaction and pugging occur when moist or wet soils are unable to support the weight of grazing stocks and their hooves cause damage. This results in the soil being unable to drain and poor pastures. Erosion of stream banks has been greatly increased with clearing of riparian vegetation. Erosion leads to reduced productivity, loss of habitat, reduced water quality and fluctuations in nutrient levels. Acid sulphate scalds occur when acid sulphate layers are exposed to oxygen and impacts farm productivity and water quality. Threats to water quality. Over drainage lowers both ground and surface water and may act to expose acid sulphate soils and reduce farm productivity. Acid discharge can impact downstream waterways, often resulting in fish kills or disease. Erosion leads to an increase in the sedimentation in waterways, leading to a decline in animal species, loss of habitat, water turbidity and fluctuations in nutrient levels. Threats to wetlands and habitat. Aquatic and terrestrial weeds compete with native vegetation, modifying the natural environment. This impacts on their diversity and can cause problems like low dissolved oxygen and high nutrient levels. Lack of riparian habitat is created by clearing. This can lead to many issues including erosion, declining water quality, sedimentation and poor drainage. Man-made barriers restrict fish passage and fish habitat. Man-made barriers include floodgates and cattle crossings. Healthy fish stocks are critical for the survival of many other species like birds and also for the success of Australia's primary industries. Managing a sustainable farm. For effective management, the first step is to prioritise issues with a farm plan, including creating target goals and preliminary monitoring. Providing a clean and reliable source of water for cattle helps to reduce erosion and protect riparian vegetation. Grazing regimes like seasonal grazing, cell or rotation grazing minimises stock impacts on native vegetation and also provides more productive pastures and improves environmental health. Installing fencing to exclude stock from areas like waterways and riverbanks can reduce erosion. Riparian vegetation reduces erosion as the roots of plants help bind the soil together. Integrate weed control methods considering manual, chemical and biological control. To achieve the best results, seek advice and assistance from your local land care group, catchment management authority, council or wetland care Australia. You can improve fish habitat and fish passage by actively managing structures like floodgates or installing simple bridges and open velocity culverts that allow free water movement. An example of a sustainably managed farm includes productive grazing paddocks. Wetland species, including birds and fish, are attracted to the habitat available on the property. Remnant vegetation not only provides wildlife habitat, but also serves as a natural windbreak that protects pasture and stock. Habitat corridors connect vegetation across the landscape. Well-planned fencing can restrict stock from wetland areas, whilst providing opportunities to introduce a cell or rotation grazing regime. Wetland pastures are suitable for seasonal grazing during dry times.